The Strangers is a young adult mystery novel published in 2019, penned by Margaret Peterson Haddix, a renowned American author. The book follows the captivating journey of the Greystone siblings as they embark on a quest to unravel a perplexing kidnapping mystery. The Strangers narrates the compelling tale of Chess, Emma, and Finn Greystone, residing in Ohio with their mother Kate. The untimely demise of their father eight years ago has left a lasting void in their lives. One fateful day, upon returning home from school, the children are greeted by their visibly distressed mother. Engrossed in a news article about the kidnapping of three children named the Gastanos in Arizona, astonishingly, these three kids share the same names and birthdays as the Greystone siblings. Intriguingly, Chess overhears his mother engaged in an uncharacteristically heated phone conversation with a man named Joe where she passionately demands him to rectify the situation, adding a veiled threat. To their surprise, the next day, their mother announces an unexpected business trip, leaving them under the care of Ms. Morales, a relatively unfamiliar acquaintance. As days pass without any contact from their mother, the children grow increasingly anxious. Their apprehension deepens when Ms. Morales displays excessive caution while picking them up from school. Additionally, Finn's classmate claims to have witnessed Finn's mother hastily exiting a bank clutching a bag, even suggesting her involvement in a robbery. As tensions rise, the children stumble upon a text message intended for Ms. Morales in which their mother cryptically states that she may never return. Driven by their desperate quest for answers, the children, aided by Natalie, Ms. Morales's 13-year-old daughter, embark on a clandestine mission to search for clues within Ms. Morales's office. Their focus centers on uncovering secrets hidden within their mother's phone and laptop. In their search, they come across a coded letter referenced in Kate's text message, presenting an enticing challenge that appeals to Emma's affinity for mathematics, numbers, and secret codes. Meanwhile, Natalie discovers news footage featuring the Gastano's mother, appealing for the safe return of her children. Astonishingly, she bears an uncanny resemblance to their own mother, further fueling the enigma surrounding their intertwined destinies. After countless nights of tireless effort, Finn stumbles upon a breakthrough within the seemingly random dot patterns concealed within his mother's business logo. To his amazement, aligning the dots reveals a hidden treasure map of their mother's basement office, with a star indicating the presence of a secret door. Meanwhile, Emma diligently decodes the cryptic letter, unearthing revelations about an alternate universe, the true birthplace of the Greystone siblings, and the destination to which their mother vanished and a courageous attempt to rescue the abducted Gastano children. United in their mission, Chess, Emma, Finn, and Natalie, now an integral part of the rescue operation, venture into their mother's office and unveil the concealed doorway cleverly disguised behind a bookcase. As they step through, they find themselves in what Natalie dubs a panic room meticulously stocked with provisions, emergency supplies, and boxes of cash. Intriguingly, they also stumble upon a mysterious lever. Fueling their curiosity, they take hold and pull, setting the room into motion. When the whirlwind journey comes to an end, they find themselves standing in a dim, desolate basement, devoid of life. The eerie house they now encounter is a barren shell, devoid of any signs of habitation. Stepping outside, they are met with a world shrouded in an ashen gray sky, and a yard engulfed by overgrown weeds, surrounded by a tall, deteriorating fence. As they venture further, they encounter a group of older boys who recognize Natalie. With a mixture of fear and urgency, 
The boys share a chilling account of a recent capture of a notorious criminal within the neighborhood. However, before they can divulge further details, Ms. Morales unexpectedly emerges, having discovered the secret door and traversed into the alternate realm. Startled, the boys quickly retreat, evidently fearful of her presence. In the wake of this encounter, the group decides to return to the real world alongside Ms. Morales. Driven by their unwavering conviction that their mother is in peril on the other side, the Greystone siblings and Natalie hatch a plan. Devising a plausible excuse, they manage to persuade Ms. Morales to drive them back to their own house. Guided by determination, they re-enter the sanctuary of the panic room gripping the lever tightly, and once again find themselves transported to the alternate world. Their original intention was to gather clues and swiftly return, but fate had other plans in store. They learn that their mother is set to face trial that very day, leaving them with no time to spare. In a race against the clock, they join a throng of people converging towards an imposing governmental edifice. Inside, the crowd filters into an auditorium, and on the grand stage, their mother sits bound to a chair, awaiting her impending trial. The stakes are high, urging the Greystone siblings and Natalie to summon their courage and navigate through the sea of uncertainty that lies ahead. Inside the courtroom, the figure presiding over the trial is none other than Susanna Morales, an exact replica of Natalie's mother, albeit twisted and malevolent in Finn's eyes. This alternate world they find themselves in is an oppressive regime, governed by a pervasive atmosphere of fear and controlled through advanced technology. Kate Greystone stands accused of conspiring against the tyrannical government her fate hanging in the balance. In a moment of impassioned outcry, Finn defiantly proclaims his mother's innocence, prompting the guards to surge into the crowd, their eyes scanning for the source of the disturbance. However, a kind-hearted woman shields Finn from their prying eyes, offering him protection in her embrace. Recognizing the potential for allies hidden among the onlookers, Emma keenly observes the faces surrounding them. Her gaze is met by a man signaling for her attention, clutching a piece of paper adorned with a lopsided heart the symbol of the resistance. This man, Joe, extends a lifeline, pledging his assistance. United in their purpose, they stealthily navigate their way towards the side of the stage. Leveraging Natalie's unique handprint to unlock a concealed door. Cloaked in darkness, they tread cautiously onto the stage, their collective efforts focused on liberating their mother from the shackles that bind her. While Joe skillfully attempts to unlock Kate's restraints, the children distract the guards using smoke bombs, their calculated diversion granting them precious moments to execute their daring rescue. Despite their valiant attempts, they find themselves unable to fully free Kate from her captivity. Faced with an impending threat, they seize the Gastano children, who were forcefully brought on stage to coerce a confession from Kate. With the urgency of the situation fueling their determination, they hastily flee the auditorium embarking on a desperate dash toward their sanctuary home. Narrowly evading the relentless pursuit of the state police, and with the unexpected aid of Ms. Morales, who has once again traversed into the alternate world, they navigate through the labyrinthine corridors, ultimately discovering the concealed tunnel. With the police closing in on their trail, they race against time, maneuvering their way back to the safety of the panic room. As the clamor of chaos escalates, Chess, guided by instinct, pulls the lever embedded in the wall, effectively sealing off the portal and leaving Kate, Joe, and Ms. Morales trapped within the confines of the alternate world. In the tumultuous aftermath, 
Ms. Morales becomes ensnared on the other side, her fate intertwined with those they left behind. Now reunited with the Gastano children, safely returned to their own world and their families, Natalie, Chess, Emma, and Finn resolutely pledged to unearth a way back to the alternate realm. Driven by an unwavering sense of loyalty, they vow to rescue Kate, Joe, and Ms. Morales, venturing into the unknown in pursuit of their loved ones and a chance to restore balance to their fractured reality.